Hello guys, this week on this channel we are focusing on analyzing job requirements for senior Laravel positions. If you missed the first three videos, the links will be in the description below. And topic of today is front-end frameworks or front-end in general. So with Laravel jobs, how much front-end do you actually need to know? Is it required or not to be a full-stack developer and with which technology? So majority of those jobs actually require at least some knowledge and some level of JavaScript. So for example, at least familiarity with front-end JavaScript and JS frameworks, without really mentioning which one, Vue, React, or something. General simple JavaScript is kind of a no-brainer if you are a web creator. The question is just whether you want to be strong enough to be a full-stack developer, meaning to create the front-end for the API, which means building the architecture on some front-end framework like Vue and React. And some jobs don't even mention that because the position involves only working with the backend, like for example this one. But then usually it involves something really deep related to backend. For example, Elasticsearch and then different types of data storages means that there will be enough work just on the backend handling a lot of data. But if you are expected to work with more simple projects, with websites, probably being at least somewhat full stack is a requirement. If we search, for example, for JavaScript, it is mentioned in 31 jobs, sometimes a few times. If we search for JS, there are other 45 mentions, but those are part of other frameworks. So not sure if you can come to any conclusion out of that. But if we search specifically, for example, for Vue, it is mentioned in 24 jobs. React, it is mentioned in 21 jobs. So the numbers are pretty similar, Vue versus React. And I've mentioned that in my other polls on Twitter and elsewhere, generally both frameworks are popular enough depending on which segment of the market you take. It may be Vue or React more popular. In Laravel community specifically, Vue is strong enough. If you take a look at general global world, React is by far more popular. And even the decision, by the way, have you noticed that in Tailwind UI, Adam Watton and the team released their templates recently and components based on React not view and not both react and i have seen adam putting questions to the audience what frameworks they use and react is more popular than Vue by quite a big margin on the other hand Vue is probably more simple to learn and quicker to start with that's why it became popular especially in laravel niche which is for rapid development in general so it's kind of a match laravel is for rapid development and Vue kind of goes alongside out of those 50 jobs that we're looking at, a few of them talked about so-called tall stack, which seems trending these days, but it's not that popular, at least in these jobs. So if we take a look at tall, it is mentioned two times only, or separately, for example, we go for live wire three times versus inertia, for example, three times as well. And separately, alpine, for example, only two times. And that's another proof that if the technology is trending and you can see a lot of tweets, a lot of YouTube videos and posts around that, it doesn't mean it is popular enough to be adopted in companies, especially in bigger, more corporate companies, which are slower to adapt new technologies. They're kind of waiting for them to be more stable and more adopted before adopting them themselves. So that's kind of a sad news for me that Tollstack is not that widely adopted. At the same time, the good news is that the older technologies, like for example, jQuery, is also used only three times. So when I saw Tollstack not that widely used, I was kind of afraid so everyone was using jQuery. No, the conclusion from those numbers probably may be that most of the companies require pure Vue.js or React with API on the back end instead of merging them together in Tollstack or Inertia. Finally, if we look at the CSS market, I personally really hate when backend developers are required to work with CSS on a stronger level because it's a separate mindset, separate positions. It should be. In reality, anything can happen. But let's take a look how much CSS is involved in this list 21 times. So you are required to at least be familiar with CSS and HTML on some level. And that is okay. Generally understand how CSS work and where to include and how to use classes. That's fine. But what about frameworks? Is Tailwind popular here? Tailwind? Eight times. So eight out of 50 jobs require some experience of Tailwind. If we take a look at Bootstrap, only two. 
That's interesting. Can we draw some conclusion? Maybe it's not enough data from 50 jobs, but 8 versus 2 probably proves that Tailwind is more popular in senior jobs, at least among those 50. So these are the numbers and my conclusions from front-end topics out of those 50 jobs. Do you have anything to add? Shoot in the comments below. And if you want to learn any of those technologies, I have courses separately on Vue, on React, two courses on Livewire, one on Alpine, one on Inertia. So just pick out of the list or subscribe to yearly membership of my courses to get them all at once. Tomorrow we'll have the final part of the series. We will talk about server stuff, server management, DevOps, AWS, and stuff like that. How often are they mentioned in this list? You will find out tomorrow. Don't miss that. Subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.